Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves out in sunny California with a sovereign citizen who believes himself to be the Messiah. And, well, it doesn't hold up too well for him because, well, he gets arrested. So, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I do. What's your name and badge number? I'm Officer Thomas with the California Highway Patrol. It's ID 19714. Okay, can I see your credentials also? My credentials? Yes. Uh, Absolutely, they're right here. Your license and everything else? My license? Yes. No, I'll show you my uh, work ID though. Yeah, we need your bond number also. No. You're you required to by... So I'm employed by the state of California as a police officer. Leonard Thomas? That's my post ID. Post officer ID. Thank but they're you. a lot different than Virginia's. Yep. This is California. Okay. Just want to make sure. Yep. So, the reason why I'm stopping you is because of the number plate. one, you got right. the no plates on the vehicle, and number right. two. That's why we put something on it yeah. because we want to make sure you are aware of it. Because I am a federal whistleblower, and that's my primary obligation Perfect. is to make sure that everything, all the T's are crossed and all the I's are dotted awesome. and everybody's properly. Private attorney generals. So, do you have a driver's license with you? I do, but I don't need to show it to you I'll because I'm not anything. driving. I'm not, and you, I'm not asking you. Ah, we got a couple of Black Slaw Dictionary fans here, huh? Well, that doesn't exactly work in the re real world because that's just a dictionary. Fact is, California does have a law where you have to present your driver's license on demand at a traffic stop, just like most every state in the damn union. And before you say anything about it, it is backed up by the Tenth Amendment, which I can guarantee you you're gonna you're gonna forget at some point. You crown munching soft tards. Jerry, I'm not obligated to show you. Driver in the driver's seat. I'm not obligated to show you. I'm not driving. Even traveling in the state of California, you're required to have a valid license. You are. Could I see that for you, please? Yeah, it's under the California Constitution. Okay. Great. You can look that up on your phone. It's actually in the California. Well, other motorists, uh, travelers, uh, it's under so UCC 9 109. Travelers, even in the state of California, require. Yeah, we have, have a fee schedule. Verbal yeah, contract is 3000 Ah, oh, the classic sovereign citizen uh, fee schedule. Where's my sovereign citizen bingo cards? Yeah, that's right. I haven't gotten them printed out yet. I really need to get around to that. I need to mark that on my schedule at some point because I'm so far behind at this point. Yes, man. I, 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 I just, this, this I just wanted to just make sure that you are okay with your offers because we have a fee I schedule. I, I know what I'm allowed to do in the okay. state of California. And number one is I'm able to stop motorists and motor vehicles when they don't have proper identification on it. The other thing is in the California's constitution, it actually states in there that you're required to have... Are you sworn under the constitution? I'm sworn under the United States constitution and I represent the California constitution good. as well. Good, good. Because we are private. And I am not obligated to show you anything of the sort with no laws broken. There's no crime committed. We have paperwork we showed you. But I don't have to show you any credentials assigned by the state that are copy left, copyright, and trademarked. Oh, you tried to copyright your name? Oh, well, I think you really should talk to Vince McMahon or some other lawyers about that because, well... James Helwick, a.k.a. the Ultimate Warrior, tried that back in the 90s when he was a part of the World Wrestling Federation. And guess what? It didn't work out too well for him in that particular instance. So, uh, yeah, good luck with that. Again, one of the things here in the state of California mm -hmm. is that you're required to identify when you're even stopped for a, a traffic infraction. Mm -hmm. Well, I have no name. I work for no man. I'm not for hire. My handle is Aviso. Notice they call me Avi. You can okay. call me Avi. But I don't have to show you any credentials. Who is S3 Tenny? Can he respond to uh, Main Street of Diamond and Red Bluff, please? Yes, and you can also let Dave know we're here too. Yeah, Dave Henning Crowd is the sheriff of Oakley. Yes, he's, he's aware also. Of who we are. We made notice when we got here that we would be doing some investigative work. 
I guess Luigi's is pretty popular on Sunday nights, huh? Their pizza place? <laughs> they make pretty good food. That is something they do do. I told him I, uh, I was craving some Italian food. We haven't had anything locally other than the uh, burrito bandito. <laughs> So how long are you working for this company? Dude, come on now. The California Highway Patrol is not a company. It is part of the California government. In fact, the uh, law enforcement subdivision of the government, you dumbass. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. Who's your commander? My commander here currently is Scott Pointer at the commercial scale. Okay. And our lieutenant recently got promoted to captain. He's now up in Red Bluff. Sweet. Very well. So in the meantime, I'm just going to get my supervisor here for the time being. Please do. Yeah. We have to commit no crime. Nothing. Well, we weren't speeding anything else. We again, showed you paperwork that the car is fine. We just purchased it, but I don't have to show you any credentials that are copyrighted. I'm sorry. I'm trying to save you a million per use. <laughs> One million dollars per use of your name? Uh, no. You're living in a fancy cuckoo world, dude. You're just not, uh, running on all cylinders, are you? Yeah, because every million uses, 30 million could return through the IRS. Banking. No, I completely understand what you're going for. I just want to save you the funds because but, there's a yeah. lot of credentials. Yeah, there's a lot of over this, uh... Codes being sold to us. There's, there's some differences that you're talking about yes. that are not necessarily recognized in the state of California. Right. Okay. Well, we're yeah. aware that the state of California has some issues. Yeah, and outside the eight-mile district of Columbia. <laughs> but like I said, the one thing that is required... His mom used to be a deputy sheriff. We're yeah. aware where your pension funds all ended up. So, yeah. yeah. We know the banking <laughs> end of it, too. So it's like everything assigned is $30 million returned copyright. So I'm saving you that. That's fine. Well, like I said, that's what we're going to wait for for my supervisor to get here. Sure. And we'll go from there. Sure. Because like I said, I know what you're required to do, mm -hmm. what you're supposed to do, and what is going to possibly happen. Yes, yeah, so we're waiting on tags and stuff like that. It's it's already been done, done deal, but we're just protecting our rights and our travel till then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you know, I've got to remember when the U.S. Constitution was written, they didn't have motor vehicles. No, but they have the Law of Nations. They did. Yeah, they have Law of Nations. But they also added a bunch of amendments and you, rights and I laws. I want to ask you, like this is really interesting because I was doing some research the other day on the VIN number database. Yeah. Because I've had vehicles um, basically carjacked by cop before. Okay. And reported them stolen in the VIN number database. Did you know that the VIN number database is being operated by the Department of Justice? Yeah. Well, it's supposed to be under the Department of Transportation. It's actually both. you got the Department of Motor Vehicles, yeah. which is a branch of the Department of Transportation. Right. And then the Department of Justice, which also has its own representation. Right. And what's curious to me is how when a vehicle is reported stolen, it never seems to trickle down to law enforcement in the correct format. I get it as the license plate in the VIN and possible suspect. Right. That's where the clutch database. Right. So when I live in Florida and I had an issue similar to what we're encountering right now, and I reported my vehicle stolen after it got taken, uh, I come to find out that it was a violation of the Driver's Protection Privacy Act on the federal level for yeah, those federal. subscriptions to be sold to that database to law enforcement when they don't update the database. They're not auditing the database. And that's on the federal level they're not auditing the yep. database? So, we check. so the trickle down that we all are codependent on mm -hmm. isn't happening. So people are becoming misinformed. And some of the DMV offices, now that they're going to electronic titles, they don't recognize that they're coming up with duplicates. And so it's creating a plethora of exponential problems for people. Okay. So, well, I haven't dealt with it. Kind of the same on, thing we encountered with the mortgage business. Yeah, I haven't dealt with it on that end of it because, like I said, when I input a stolen vehicle, it goes in the a national database in the CLET system, mm -hmm. um, which is uh, inputted by our dispatch. Mm -hmm. And so once the vehicle is either inputted, then it's accessible throughout the entire country, mm -hmm. um, even into Canada because they get access to that, that database. 
as well, just like I can pull vehicle information from Canada. In yeah, California. and the interesting thing about the Driver Protection Privacy Act is law enforcement on all levels is not supposed to have access or authority to access that database unless and until the owner of the vehicle has reported it stolen. Uh, yeah, try that again because you are dead effing wrong right there. And all that other gobbledygook mess is just that gobbledygook mess. Interesting case. Pam Bondi really got an education on that one when she was attorney general. When was she the attorney general? Oh, she was the attorney general in, in, in Florida. Florida. Yeah, from 2008 to 2012, I think it was. When yeah. I dealt with that issue. Made it pretty fast on the scale. Yeah. My sergeant's the one that's coming down. Here. Cool, cool. Yeah. Okay. All right, like I said, give me one second, okay? Sure. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. Well, there's a couple things here. Pam Bondi was the uh, attorney general from 2011 to 2019. And if she supposedly knew all this, then why the hell was not anybody else not informed about it? I mean, come on, get real. That kind of information, well, just doesn't stay hidden for very long and makes it to the general public. My sergeant's right there on your left. He's going to talk to you. Oh, there we go. Hello. Hello. How are you, Mr. Burns? I'm good. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. well. How are, How are you? Excellent. You guys all right? Yeah, yeah we we're just came good. from dinner. We came into town to try out this Luigi's dinner. We just went over here to the park to eat because you're not allowed to eat in the restaurant. All right. So, and we hit Walmart. We probably wasted way too much money there. Okay. <laughs> so... How come you're not providing your driver's license or identification, sir? Because we're I, private. We're private. I didn't do any breaking laws. He pulled us over because there's no plates. I am not obligated to show anybody anything. That's not It's true. copyright, copyleft, trademark, and uh, I'm asking you questions. Do you have your credentials? What's your name and badge number? Sergeant Paul Burns, ID 16355. Thank, Thank you. you. There's no Sorry, crime committed? Hmm? There's no crime committed? Right Was there any crime committed? Driving without license plates on your vehicle is against the law, correct? Well, we have paperwork we provided, and it's legit. Are we free to go? No, nope, you're not. You've what crime detained. has been committed? What crime has party? been committed? You are driving a vehicle down the road. I don't drive. Um, and how did you render private... that legal conclusion? How did he come up with that legal conclusion? It not it obvious? You, there is a law that states that you have to drive a vehicle with a license plate in the state of California as well as every other state in the union. It is against the law to drive without one for obvious reasons. They need to be able to track these things for legal and insurance reasons. How hard is that for you to comprehend? I wasn't here. Well, I'm just so you your well, hearsay of driving does it say taxi? Are we a taxi service? We're not a taxi service. We're not commercial. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. We're I, private. I, I don't know what you do. That's right. You don't. Nope. You don't nope. want to know. private individuals, just right. like your family and your home. Correct. This is our private household good, and it has been properly registered with the... Where's the license plate? They haven't arrived yet. They haven't arrived. Okay, well. Yeah, we just got a new mailbox key here. How long here. did you buy it? It was purchased on August 14th, 2020, I believe, under our 16th. But they, they gave you a temporary. What August 16th. No, we did not get a temporary tag. They, the dealer has to give you one when you leave the they dealer. They did not the give us a temporary tag. taped on the back window. I don't know. And yeah. I don't know what else to say. He taped it on the back window. We haven't touched oh. it since he gave it to us. It's whoever taped it on the back window still there. We didn't break any laws, the speed, any crimes. Did we commit any crime? No. That's how they do Yeah, so they get that since January 1st, they give you like a printout. I'm sure you may have seen them on other cars. It's a bigger one with similar letters as a license plate. That's what they're supposed to give you until your new ones arrive. So well, that's why we yeah. marked our that's auto we private because we're not for hire. Right. For hire has nothing to do with it. Well, that's what you we, have regardless, a for. It's a no. federal. It's a federal... Yeah. In California, whether you agree with it or not, the law says yeah, that well, you're going to... Your offer is not accepted, so... Do you, you, you... want to listen or are you going to keep talking over us? Oh, wow. We have no public serving. Okay. Anyways, it's Sergeant Burns. I don't okay. want to talk over you. 
Yes. Okay. So when you when you purchase a vehicle as a, a it was either started in October but became enforceable in January, they were supposed to put a temporary license plate that just a paper one with the numbers like a temporary number. Did they not give you that? No. We're private for now because until we get our paperwork. We didn't get anything you, like that. You keep saying you're private, or, but it doesn't. It doesn't right, that's correct. The, the laws of California. From well, the laws of California are different from our province. So you're in California, sir. Yeah, you're on Alvarado Province, also. So we're private. Okay. Verbal contacts three thousand, give or take a minute out of the hour. It's two hundred fifty thousand for fifteen minutes, keeping us here. Okay. On our fee schedule, your name and badge number will be billed. Did we commit any crime? You're driving your vehicle with... I'm not driving. Legal conclusion. The definition of the word driving in the English English language, which is the official language for the state of California, is different than the legal word, the legal definition. We're law enforcement. We're not not English teachers. Well, actually, a jury is law enforcement. No, no, no. no. But you are public office. Well, yeah. Do you have a license to practice law? We appreciate that. We do. Did you see any crimes committed? I wasn't here. Good. Then you didn't see anything. But I can not... I can see that there's no plate on the back of your truck. Right. And well, as it's we a private household consumer product. Yet, so it comes with a fee like schedule. Us to do? Well, all right. What I would like you to do is provide your driver's license or identification mm-hmm. so that we can proceed with the contact and you can go on your I'm way. not giving you credentials assigned. It's copyrighted. Wow, the stupid is definitely strong with these two. I mean, they just keep on repeating the same old tired BS over and over again. I mean, I could just sit here for hours and hours tearing apart every little statement over and over again so you know what i just wish these cops would just go ahead and end it tase them pull them out of the vehicle something just get it over with jeez to save you a million for use i'm not going to give it to you i offered okay. to mr well, thomas if you'd like if, to call the i have a hand where we are why we're here you will have to be arrested if you take me to jail it'll be one million per hour on your bill your name and badge number. Your bond number, please. I don't have a bond. You have to have a bond number. You have to have a bond. I have a, 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 a badge number, not a bond. Well, who insures you for your errors and omissions when you make a mistake? The state of California. The state of California. I don't give you consent to even I'm not touch this consent. car or any of us. I'm not We're private consent. household consumer goods. Okay. And it comes with a fee Which schedule. Which is federal. It's federal. Okay. Right. But the Outside the 8-mile square district of Columbia, you have no authority. Wait, are you saying that police officers don't have any authority outside of Washington, D.C.? How does that freaking work anyway? That would be the wild, wild west out there. But of course, we're talking about a bunch of anarchists anyway. But let's continue on, shall we? Okay. Okay. So, I, I, is there a crime I, committed? I hear what you're saying. Is there a crime committed? I don't agree with anything you're saying, but that's okay. I don't that's agree what you're saying. This country. You're allowed I understand what I'm saying. Okay. Okay? I'm the Alpha Omega. I am who I am for I am. A live man. I don't Correct. do business with no other corporations. I had not for hire. I have no name. I work for no man. Okay. I'm the Alpha Omega. In perpetuity. Witness. Good evening, sir. We're Park County Detectives. We were just wondering if we could take a quick look around your house, Mr... God. No, you are not the Alpha and Omega. You are not Buddha. You are not Muhammad. You are not Allah. You are not Jehovah. You are not Jesus. You are none of those things. You are a mortal man doing stupid things at this point. Well, by failing to identify yourself also, you are committing... If you are going to create a law, you better have a law license to create that. I didn't create it. Well, I don't agree with you, so... We so commit no crime, to man. man to man. Man to man. You're not going to kidnap any of us. It won't be kidnapped. It's not going to be at all. You're not going to touch any of us here. I would have to call your supervisor. You get your supervisor out here. I am the supervisor. You get your supervisor, your commander. No. I order no? you to get your commander. I don't follow that order. Then I would like to call the There's sheriff no on a 911 call, 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 call right now because this sounds like it's You're not have to call going the, sheriff the way that it needs to be going. Because no, you're failing to provide a federal case number, 00101. Identification or not? Federal case number, 00101. You have to provide your credentials. Under threat 
on the threat dressing course. We're armed. We're unarmed. We're armed. We're unarmed. Peaceful, unarmed. Inhabitants, and Peaceful you are inhabitants. Threatening our holy temple. Therefore, I am calling you 911 calling the sheriff because I feel my life is being credentials. threatened. Okay. Oh, pure genius. Calling uh, the police on the police because you broke the law. Oh, how deliciously stupid you both are. You no failed reason. to... Uh, failed is that a no? A federal case is number no? 001. Are you yes or no? I am saying nothing to you. Okay. I am commanding you Step out of the that you are not going to touch none of us. Step out of the vehicle. You are not going to. No, we're a private. Yes, my life is being we're threatened. We're being threatened by a state a patrol. Pharmacy, nope. Parking lot. I refuse to do so. Lot, I demand left. you to show me your credentials and call my your commander. My private vehicle, okay. my temple I've, I've, is. Federal I've, case number zero zero one zero one. You failing to provide your bond number and your insurance. I asked you for that. You are provided to do so. All of them are armed. I ordered you to. They are threatening you work to for remove me. us from I don't our vehicle you. where we have committed right. no crime. That's right. No All crime is committed. You asked for provided. credentials. You got, you're escalating the situation by creating right laws. Now, you're, creating right now, situa no, you're creating situation. No, you're creating a bullshit situation by creating your own laws. Okay. By asking people to do so. Slavery is illegal and unlawful. I will have to bill you 250000 for 15 minutes. Okay. Do you want to continue? I will do my job. It will be $1 million per frame, 30 frames per count, digital count per second, video camera, subpoenaed for okay. federal court. We will do our job. Your name and badge number I give it to will you. be law and liability for any damages to this auto or us. Uh, we do not give you consent to touch this vehicle or us. We, understand we do that not serve private corporations. We do not serve private corporations. We've never been served a copy you of work for the us. Constitution. We okay. don't live you may under be go the You may be dismissed. Here's what's You're happen. free to go. We did not commit no crime. Thank you. I didn't ask for your permission for nothing. Well, I'm giving you an order. Are you, you going to step out of the vehicle? Call, call your commander. Call, call your commander. Are you come out of the vehicle? Call your commander. Are you going to come out of the vehicle? You need to call your commander. Are you coming out of the vehicle? To wait for the sheriff to arrive to show credentials. You're committing a crime. You're committing a federal crime. Sergeant Burns, Sergeant Burns, Sergeant Burns, you're committing a crime. 16355. 16355. Help. Help. You're going to step out of the vehicle on your own. A man is attempting to kidnap us in our private consumer goods. Step out of the vehicle on your own. Or at the yes. pharmacy or CVS. No, they're committing a crime. They're committing I'm a federal crime. I'm not public servants when they're committing a crime. Okay. Okay. You're committing it's time a crime. For you to step out of the vehicle, sir. I'm not missing news. We're not misusing 911. They have yes, tasers. Sir. I'm not committing the crime here. You need to contact you the sheriff. Going. You will step out of the vehicle. I'm we will not contact the sheriff. If you harm me in any way, in any fashion, you're going to be law liability. What? 100, 100 million law liability. I don't give you consent to touch us. No. We didn't ask for any of this. No, no, no. Get, no. Get off me. Don't touch me. I do not give you consent to touch me. He's got a knife on his right side. Do not give you consent to touch me. Do not touch me. Don't touch me. No. Get off me. That's a fool. Taking my phone out of my hand. What the oh, hell? He's got a knife. Doing? He's got a knife. Watch out. Do you have any I don't well, now stupid is as stupid does. He called himself the Alpha and Omega, basically saying he was a god. And, well, he was found wanting on that part. I mean, if he were a god, they wouldn't have been able to pull him out of that vehicle to begin with. And if he were truly a god, then his commands alone would have whisked them away to some other far-off place. But, unfortunately, he's merely a man. And a really stupid one at that. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.